Golden State will get the first possession. And the season's taken some interesting twists so far, Brent. But this is the time on the calendar when things really start to get interesting in the NBA. Yeah, you can start to look, PA, sometimes at your and schedule you and a chunk of games. Maybe you have a home stand of four or five or a road trip where you could actually win three or four games on the road to come back and take advantage of your playoff position. Outside Levine. Clock at six. He's off on that one. And Golden State will come the other way. Last time they met in San Francisco. It was a narrow loss the last time they faced each other. It's together some makeshift lineups late in that game. That might have cost him. He hits the second from the line. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. And it's DeRozan missing. Curry against Ball. Pass to Kaminga. And just over a minute played here to start the game. And he's headed to the line for two. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. Shooting for Golden State. Andrew he is Wiggins. produced in every capacity. Two shots. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. And the defense of Wiggins, Grant. Something that he's turned around in his career. Yeah, you know, B.A., he went from a weak defender to a strong one. He's always had the tools, but he's putting it all together and can now be a lockdown wing. A trade. The rebound by Wiggins. That's their plan to get him an opportunity to finish in tight. That's a miss. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Ooh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? Now here's Curry. 17 points for him. Last game against Milwaukee. Warriors call a timeout. All right, fans, that was your Liverpool's dance team. Make some noise. The Warriors trailing. Alex Caruso is out there with Zach Levine. Then it's DeMar DeRozan. Then there's Tristan Thompson, and it's A-Train in at the small forward. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Wiggins, no good. Yeah, my expectations were that he was not going to miss that one. He handles that kind of defense, especially on the inside. Thompson, a screen on Curry. Here's Caruso, and the rebound goes to the Warriors. Outside Curry, outside Porter. Fourteen feet away. That one rolls around and rims out. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. Here's a train defended by Thompson. Thompson, a screen on Curry. Here's Caruso. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Porter's got his sixth rebound on the night. Well, if there's 100 play calls that they have, Tristan's probably got zero of them. He just goes in there and gets it done himself. Wiseman finds Wiggins. No good. Chicago leading. Pass to A-Train. Thompson, a screen on Wiggins. Here's A-Train. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Now here's Curry. And on offense, he's been a force, scoring over 30 a game. Inside. 
Thompson, no good. For Chicago, they've gone two of four here in the second quarter. Curry with a steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Warriors. And it's rejected. Pass to A-Train. Good. And it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. And now it's a 10-point Chicago lead. This small advantage is starting to snowball. Yeah, this team is looking to add to the lead, trying to put the other team away, and threatening here. Now here's Porter. Looking for his first basket still in this one. A three from Curry. Nails it from beyond the arc. The accuracy that Curry has from that kind of range is just jaw-dropping. He does not miss that many shots from that deep. Thanks, guys. Well, A-Train in their last timeout against the Nets was just insanity. He had it 13 points and was his unstoppable self, getting to the line at will. And when you talk about that game, he was just everywhere. Huge for his team. Back to you. Yeah, spot on, Allie. He was aggressive in that game. Really took initiative. He really made an impact. And he'll be looking to repeat that kind of performance again tonight. Every teammate in talking with them before the game says how much faith they have in him. They'll keep getting it to him. Here's a trade. His last outing, we saw him score 13. Pass to DeRozan. Six on the shot clock. Up and over Porter. And the Bulls tack on two more. They have no Warriors call timeout. Today. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is going that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. On the floor for the Warriors. Play at the Golden two with Wiggins ball. at the three. Wiseman is one with Kaminga. And it's Curry in at the point. First team foul. Thompson, a screen on Curry. Ball with it. Guarded now by Wiseman. And Ball gets it to go. Good decision in the pick and roll as Ball comes off, makes the read, but calls his own number. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. NBA, that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. Here's a train. Checking his stats, he's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Back to Levine, down to five on the shot clock. From deep, they get it back. And that one's good, Thompson. Thompson's got nine. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area, huh? Ball against Curry. Pass to Wiggins, and here's Wiseman. Now here's Thompson. This is the jumper for Chicago. They've got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. And Levine, throw it down! Did you see right there? That is why everybody is still very high on Lonzo Ball. Has a sixth sense for when the dish is. And the shot's good by Wiggins. Yeah, here's a list of things I don't want to do, and right at the top is guard that guy. DeRozan, a screen on Wiggins. I have to admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Caruso, he's checked in for Chicago. Porter Jr., he's checked in for the Warriors. Now here's Thompson. He's got nine. Pass to Caruso. Curry with a steal. Screen by Wiseman. And Curry is good Stephen for three. Curry. He's got seven. Three. Well, right now, Steph is just toying with the defense, and it feels like he is the puppeteer in this basketball game. 
Grant, starting your career in the 50s. Oh, you know, actually 90s. Back then, we'd see teams usually score in the 80s and 90s. What do you think of the current score? Really, B.A., the 50s? Wow. <laughs> but it's crazy. I mean, back then, yes, every game was in the 80s and 90s. Now everyone averages at least 100 points per game. So I think it's been an, an interesting evolution of the game. And, of course, the fans all love offense. And these players and teams today are providing just that. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, the Warriors have had a big problem committing fouls. Coach Steve Kerr has drilled them on moving their feet, not getting baited into the cheap ones. He Two said, quote, we talk about it four. every day. Two and Stephen minutes. Curry said, quote, it's on all of us to hold each other accountable, being in the right position. Yep, and that's why he is who he is. Good stuff, Allie. Here's a train. Pass to DeRozan. Here's A-Train. He's covered by Curry. A-Train. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. At the moment for the ball. Oh, that was it. And At there's the, the call. The Golden State with the foul. Chicago making some changes. Bradley, he's checked in for Thompson. Green comes in for DeRozan. And it's White in for Zach Levine. Curry passes to Payton. Now Porter. Looney, the screen. The drive by Porter. Pool outside. Shoots over White. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. Kobe White. The Warriors shooting only 40% from the floor in this game. Paul and Levine make up the backcourt. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Tony Bradley. And it's eight train in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Oh, and Bradley with a block. And that'll be Golden State's ball. He's able to keep possession. Thompson left side. Just four to shoot. Fades back. It doesn't go for him. Now Chicago takes it the other way. It's off to Boston after this one, where they will face the Celtics. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Just a really gifted athlete. Levine's speed makes him an effective penetrator. Here's Poole. The Bulls making their last shot. And that one's good. Wiseman. Wiseman. It's interesting. They definitely had more three-point attempts in the first half. Not sure why they went away from it. Here's DeRozan using his post moves to get the two points. And the Bulls lead by 14. They are shooting the lights out and doing a good job of maintaining this lead. Up top, Thompson. Again, the Thompson. Warriors score. Assistant Play not forcing anything, just DeVon waiting for his time. Collecting points in the flow of the offense. Levine against Payton. Here's a train. Who poked away? Thompson with a steal. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Wiseman the pass to Poole. Here's Thompson. Puts up a three. DeRozan with the rebound. DeRozan's got four rebounds now. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Pass to A-Train. Back to DeRozan. Fade away. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And I don't understand. Why is he going to the fade away? Just go straight up with it. Pool outside. Weisman, a screen on DeRozan. Pass to Thompson. Over ball. That doesn't go either for Thompson. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. This guy just knows. Time out for Golden State. 
Thompson. He's checked in for Bradley. Kaminga. He's checked in for the Warriors. Wiggins comes in for Peyton. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. During that break, Coach Steve Kerr had some advice for the team. He was not pleased with the team's focus, saying, quote, we're being flat out reckless. We have to settle down and tighten things up. No more turnovers. Guys. Allie, thank you. Here's a train. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So here. At the line for Chicago. Clay Thompson picks one up. Two shots. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bulls. I thought we might see the defense adjust at halftime to slow their fast break, but that has not been the case. Well, looking up and down the stat sheet here, I'm seeing those second Two chance points jump minutes. out at me. They've done a Two great minutes. job on the offensive glass. Curry, he's checked in for the Warriors. And off the left side of the rim, it swirls in for him. Thompson's gotten four this quarter. A great way for a three-point shooter to keep the defense honest is to show them that you can knock down mid-range shots. Clay did that. To the inside, a trade. Yes, sir, and it's Ball with the assist that time. Ball's got his fourth assist in this one. Curry against Ball. Out to the right wing. Wiseman inside. Two points. That one Change goes. Wiseman. <laughs> Think about adding that weight. Time out for the ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the Liverpool. Over three and a half minutes through the final quarter now. Pass to a train. Brent, you were a dunk contest champion in 1996. So when you think of the all-time great dunkers, who's the first person that comes to mind? I have to go with Vince Carter, probably during my time, the most Stephen explosive Curry. and exciting slam dunk artist in game uh, that I've ever seen. But if you go through history, we know the likes of Dominique Wilkins and Dr. J. There's been many high flyers and many skywalkers, and we appreciate all of them. And this is a game they can build off of. They kept their focus all game long, and it will get marked as a win for the Bulls. Their unbelievable shooting was probably the biggest difference tonight, but they also got stops. Yeah, great effort on both ends. Now, at the line for Chicago. they were stingy defensively as well, but just really impressive. That'll do it for this one. They've earned their 27th victory of the year tonight. And that's a sweep of the season series. It's clear who the matchup favored. They wish they could have seen more of these guys. Man, you have to recognize what a night it was for DeMar DeRozan. It's hard to think of a part of the game where he didn't play a major role mentally, physically. I mean, he showed us what he's capable of when he's feeling his best. Pass to A-Train. And a Stephen Curry with the rebound. Wiggins with it. 14 feet away, and the jumper is on the mark. Well, Wiggins is a good mid-range shooter. When he's in a rhythm, faced up like that, they'll take it. Right side, Levine. Celtics off the tip. Greg, I think it's going to be a battle of the boards, a battle of rebounding. And you know what that's like. You played alongside some great rebounders. 
well, Patrick Ewing, Charles Oakley. I mean, those guys got after it as well as anybody who's ever played. And Tatum puts up a deep three. Good until picking up the assist. Tatum's got the first bucket of the night, a three-pointer for the Celtics. Ball, the pass to Santos. Ball against Hill. Six on the shot clock. Nine feet out. Levine can't hit. Ball against Hill. Brown outside. Williams has a screen for Brown. Chicago grabs the miss. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, and, and that one, they just locked it down defensively. Challenged shots and, and really protected the rim. Well, they certainly made their presence felt on defense. They were active and rejected a number of shots. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. I agree. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Uh, when Deep forgets about him on the perimeter, they're playing with fire. Lucky they don't get burned here. Thompson in the corner. Bean passes to Santos. Bowles moving the ball around. Williams with the steal. Down against Ball. Lonzo and the call Ball. will be against Lonzo. That's his first. That is his first foul of the game. First team Yeah, that's a tough call right there, and, and really a tough break for the D. Here is Williams. He is a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. Outside Tatum. Releases from 15. Knocked away. Oh, I thought that one was going to go down. Mid-range jumpers. Oh, man, that's usually a bunny with the deep playing soft like that. Santos, the 11-footer, rebound by Williams. Austin's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Brown dishes to Hill. Back to Brown, shoots the three. Austin again missing. They're struggling here early. One for five now. The D has them bottled up so far. And DeRozan, a free agent this past offseason, took his time to find the right fit in terms of who he would sign with, ultimately choosing Chicago in a big victory for the Bulls. Now here's Tatum. He's coming off a 19-point game against Philadelphia. And that didn't come at the cost of his defense. In fact, I think it fed his defense. He had four steals in that game. Ball, the pass to Santos. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Oh, oh why Celtics. don't you? Fans, your Celtics answer. Oh. Go get him, Junior. Chicago leading. Outside, the wings are Brown and Tatum. Williams is out there with Williams, and it's Jackson in at the point. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. DeRozan passes to Santos. Over Tatum. Shakes him. Outside for Thomas. The pass to Santos. Five to shoot. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. Here's Caruso. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge. Hey, from the okay, Hi, Kevin. Wait, we'll well, A-Train in the last time. game against the Warriors was phenomenal. He scored 12 points, and as we've come to expect from him, spent a lot of time at the foul line. And it was important for them to break that losing streak. He was a big reason why they were able to do it. Kevin? Thanks, David. You know, GA, you wonder how much of that performance can carry over into this one. You never really know what will happen game to game, but I sure wouldn't bet against him. Yeah, well, he we made it look easy last time. I mean, he's in sync from the get-go. We'll see, though, if he can replicate that rhythm tonight. Outside Thomas. 
on the wing to Rosen. He's guarded by Williams. And the shot's good from Santos. Ever evolving as a passer, DeRozan continues to impress with his ability to find his teammates. Tatum on the wing, defended by Santos. Williams kicks to Tatum. It's up a three. Thompson with the rebound. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. In the corner, it's Levine. Outside DeRozan. Pass to Thomas. Thompson a screen on Brown. Thompson finds Thomas. Misses the three. And even with good coverage defensively that time, uh, he has confidence to drill the three. Here's Hill. And Thompson sends it back. But Thompson is a more than capable defender. He has excellent length. And he uses that to swat away shots. And stolen by Thomas. Passes it to Santos. On deep. Hill pulls it in. And so it's Hill with it. He brings it up for Boston. Only given up two points this quarter. Coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, I mean, on the road, their defense was just overrun. Couldn't match the intensity of the opponent, and it cost them a flat out. The assist. I thought they looked overmatched. I mean, I, I thought they lacked aggressiveness and hard. Work. Now it's time out called by. And job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. Yeah, the offense looks crisp, and the guys are hitting their shots. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. Taking a look at the Bulls, in the backcourt, it's Ball and Levine. A-Train is out there at the Rosen, and it's Thompson in at the center, locking down the middle. Chicago trailing here. And for everything he provides on offense, Chris, Brown's defense is just as impactful. He's got a strong, tough, quick twitch athleticism, and he plays with tremendous pride. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Check and Zach the Levine ball. gets the whistle that time. Zach Levine. First foul of the game. First. Personal foul. First team foul. Williams for three. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. And the Celtics lead by two. That was the correct play to make. George Hill, a very discerning playmate. Thompson, a screen on Tatum. Santos, the pass, the ball. Here's A Train, guarded by Tatum. And it's Jason Tatum with the foul. Jason. That is his first foul of the game. It's his first personal foul. First team foul. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Here's a train guarded by Tatum. Rocket six. Here's Santos and stolen by Tatum. And you've got to do a better job of making sure the defender is it in your space. I mean, if you're going to pump bait, you've got to make sure he doesn't have a chance for the steal. Just an intelligent play by Tatum, moving the ball to a guy with a great shot. Thompson against Williams. Pass to Levine. It's a nice ball movement here by Chicago. Santos, the pass to Thompson. Inside, got a piece of it. Taken away by Williams. Over in the corner, Brown. Back to Tatum. Now, here is Hill. Currently averaging almost six points a game. 
Brown feeling out of it. And finish off by Brown. Great physical and athletic. Timeout for the ball. Fans, your Celtics dancer. All right, fans. That Bulls trail by six. Make some noise. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Here's a train guarded by Tatum. Here's Santos shooting foul at the line for the Bulls. Two free throws. And it goes on Jason Tatum. The Bulls have gone two for two in the game at the line. Some changes for Boston. Morgan's checked in, and it's Jackson in for George Hill. And the Bulls making a change. Also, Tony Bradley's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Here's the screen. Tatum drives it. Oh, Woo! see that? That's amazing, the creativity. You see how fluid and natural Tatum is. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Oldham. Oh, Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. The Celtics made the Eastern Conference Finals. for the ball. Bulls trail by four. Down in the front court along with Tatum. Edgy Jackson out there with George Hill. And it's Williams at the five. That's the Boston five. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. And Williams with the stop. Yeah, something that Williams does so well as soon as he has inside position. He, he just goes for the finish. Thompson, a screen on Brown. Santos, the pass to Thompson. And that one is off. And the Celtics going the other way now. They've led by as much as 10. Now the pass to Williams. Kicks it to Jackson. And again, Boston with the triple. And they've done some nice work as we come down the stretch here in the final quarter. Perfect timing uh, with a small lead. Uh, they're doing all they can to protect it. Thompson, a screen on Brown. Santos, the pass to Levine, to the paint. Here's a train. He's covered by Brown. Ball from long range. And again, no good by Chicago. And here's Hill for three. The offensive rebound outside Tatum to the inside, Brown, and it's blocked. Outside, ball. Pass to Thompson. Outside, ball. And here's DeRozan. Passes it to Santos. Shot clock at six. And it's ball in the corner. And the Bulls with another miss. Celtics leading by nine. Tatum with it. Picked up by Thompson. Brown wide open. He fired. Good. And it's Hill picking up the assist. Hill's got four assists in the game. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. On the wing, Levine. Down low. Here's Santos. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. Wanting to improve his all-around game. I mean, Levine demonstrated how he's selfish. Fans, your Celtics answer. Now they in for Jackson. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. During the last break, got to listen in on Ime Adoka's huddle with his team. He's obviously pretty happy. He said, I know they're not going to take us lightly next time. We knew what the deal was with that underdog role coming into the game. Okay, David, thanks. Williams sets a screen for Hill. Over Levine. Steve from Levine. Bulls trail by 10. Mar DeRozan on the wing. And just about three minutes through the Lamar fourth quarter DeRozan. here. And he lays it straight in. And talk about a strong finisher. DeRozan will challenge anyone when he's looking to score. It's Brown with the drive. There's Williams. And they call the foul. So he's got. 
team there. He is beasting on the glass, converting the opportunity, trying to put this game away. So active. So energetic. Helping to lead the charge for this team. The Bulls making a switch here. Caruso's checked in. Going inside. The shot's good from Santos. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Celtics leading by nine. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And it's Brown missing. He usually takes advantage of D like that. Should have been a simple layup. Here's DeRozan. And he makes them one. And that's now six, six points, points for DeMar DeRozan. Caruso. So determined is DeRozan he, as he has piled up a ton of points in this league. I'm watching the line there. That'll be a bad ball. Caruso, the pass to Thompson. Here's Caruso. And there's the pass to Santos. Pass to Caruso. Six to shoot. In the corner, it's Levine. Over Brown. Misses off the left eye. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through the field. Nice ball movement by Boston. There's Tatum. Can't hit from in close. And not sure they've got enough time to save themselves. Yeah, uh, it's quite unlikely. But we've seen crazy things happen. Pass to Brown. 19 seconds left in the fourth. Fires from 14, and he drops that one in. And the Celtics lead by nine. Uh, and, and the Brown is a reliable threat for mid-range. I mean, effortless.
Frank, 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 how you doing, man? All right, MP. Thank you for doing this. Appreciate you taking the time. Oh, of course. You know, you got to get the people what they want, Frank. You know that. Okay, well, totally. You know what? You ready? <laughs> what Let's you do got it. for me, man? What okay, you got? I got some questions for you. Well, speaking of giving the people what they want, uh, you're getting quite the reputation around. Look, nobody likes getting the score run up on them. I understand that, but I get paid. Okay, so moving on. All right, let's say you're in a regular season game, okay? You're up by four. That's a big lead. Um, I'll probably look to hold the ball there. Okay, so what? What else you got, Frank? Let me see my notes here. All right, I think I'm... So we're coming to the end of my YouTube video right now, so give a thumbs up button if you like the video so much. Click on that bell button to subscribe for more content, and if you saw the recent video interesting, share that comment right below the description so you can share some thoughts and feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So I make a happy Corona 95. You all have a great day, and peace out.